There. I got it all out. Will Alda, Alda be alright, uh, Mr. Krabs? Not like this. Oh, look at the, all of that fish. Yes, she'll be fine. She's just sleeping now. Orcas are mammals, so they won't die if they're uh, uh, out of the water for a little while. But their own weight uh, puts stress on their organs, and their skin uh, starts to dry out. Yeah, I guess that's the reason why. So they can actually... Well, I'm not gonna take the, the game here for granted for that information, but I know that... Uh, you know, regardless of, uh, you know, uh, not mentioning, you know, their skin, dr their skin drying, I think just them laying, uh, laying around like that is definitely harmful, harmful to them. Uh, I put some of my special handmade cream on her skin as an emer emergency measure. Ugh. Feel better soon, Orla. Oh, if only I hadn't gotten that uh, aluminal on her. That's not the... Uh, aluminal? Nah, no problem there. That stuff uh, just washes uh, right off. Orla's condition has nothing to do with you, young lady. Really? Then what is wrong with Orla? I don't need to share that information with you people. It's none of your business. What the... Why is he so defensive about that fact? I have to get back to my rounds, so I'll leave the rest to the crew. Please keep an eye on Orla while I uh, uh, rouse up some crew members. You want... You want us to help you, but you're not gonna help us with information? That doesn't make sense. Mr. Krabs sure is acting funny. He seems to, to be hiding something. Maybe we should check on Orla's condition before the staff gets here. Uh... You think that Mr. Krabs is uh, up to no good, Phoenix? Hmm. Alrighty, viewers. Uh... Yeah. So the only thing that we have to do now is just try and examine the old it's pretty much the only option that we can do is there something that uh, we need to inspect here well we did inspect uh we did get this nothing uh nothing interesting here other than just pointing out uh, uh the blood splatter on these things we still haven't gotten uh, any uh any fingerprints though we might actually get it now Examine. I think the only thing that we can examine right now is... Orla. And the fish, too. And the hats? Hmm. Wait, is that a capsule? We should check out the contents of Orla's stomach, I guess. Wait, that's... That's what's uh, inside her stomach? Uh, how do uh, whales digest their... Uh, their food? Do they actually chew on the food? I don't think so. They just, they just swallow it whole. Well, I think uh, the uh, the animals that do that are like snakes and and crocodiles, uh, crocodiles and alligator. Like they don't actually chew their food. Most of the animals uh, that chew their foods are uh, are the herbivores. Those are the ones that actually uh, do that. Animals that live by the sea, you know, not not necessarily. Uh, uh, marine uh, animals, like yeah, even seagulls. I think seagulls, like um, even most birds, just don't chew. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, most all birds probably don't chew their food. So, hmm. I hate bio I hate biology, by the way, viewers. <laughs> yeah, let's check on the content. Then. There, yeah, there's a capsule. Three Z 
S. It's Z, have a nice day. Well, I'm not American, I'm sorry. It's Z, so it's gonna be Z, alright? It's Z. Even though my accent, uh, <laughs> I think it's my accent is actually akin to American than, than, uh, than an English one. Oi, bruv, what you doing? That's definitely not English. <laughs> hey, I see something mixed in uh, with the fish. It looks like a medicine capsule. There's something written on it. I think it says 3ZS. What would it be doing? What would it be doing in Orla's stomach? What would it be doing? Can we take uh, fingerprints of it? Mysterious capsule added to the court record. The strange capsule that was found in Orla's stomach, 3ZS, is printed on it. I wonder what kind of medicine, uh, what, what kind of medicine uh, it, uh, it is. Let's ask uh, Mr. Krabs. It might have something to do with Orla's condition. Maybe he would better not ask. He must have noticed. Uh, he must have noticed it himself. Yet he didn't mention it. I think he's hiding something about Orla's condition. I mean, we need to research it at the very least. If we show him the capsule, he might try to take it away from us. Yeah, I guess he was acting pretty sketchy. Okay, let's look into it ourselves then. Good idea. When we get back to the office, we can ask for Apollo's help. What is Apollo going to do with the cap? He doesn't, he doesn't know shit about goddamn capsules. No, we're not gonna inspect Orla at all? Oh, Alright. I guess that wraps up uh, our investigation here. Oh, I wish I could... I could have inspected Orla, but hey. Orla still isn't fully awake yet. Oh, here comes uh, some staff. Looks like they're going to put Orla back into the pool. I'm trying to sleep here. Don't wake me up. And I guess they're going to fill uh, the pool back up. I bet that will take a while. Well, I guess we can leave Orla in uh, the staff's capable hands now. Right. So. Where to now? Let's head to the show stage next. If we are lucky, the police will be done uh, with the place. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna assume... I guess we already examined this area, but... Let's, uh, let's take another look around. Uh, I think... Yeah, I think they already moved uh, Orla. Yeah, we had the ability to inspect uh, the... Uh, the hats and Orla. Well, once we've uh, once we inspected the capsule, it was done. Which is a shame. Wish the game didn't cut me out like that. I mean, let me show you the capsule. That's the capsule from Orla's stomach, isn't it? Maybe the medicine is actually for. Maybe the medicine that we have. is uh, actually not for Sasha, it's actually for Orla. She was the one that's uh, giving it to, to her. It says a 3ZS on it. I wonder what this uh, drug does. I'm surprised that it actually didn't melt. I don't know, but maybe it had something to do with Orla's uh, mysterious condition. You know, viewers, something uh, very interesting about uh, these kind of capsules. When... Usually when doctors... Uh, two things I'm gonna mention. I just remember the, the other one. First uh, first one is actually for the capsule themselves. Usually when doctor tells you uh, like, to take uh, a medicine, like before, uh, before uh, eating it or after eating, usually uh, when you take the capsule, of course, you have to drink it with water, you, 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 and you, it is necessary that the liquid that you drink should be water. You shouldn't drink it with something hot, you shouldn't drink it with something uh, uh, like uh, carbonated. 
uh, like soda or a, or a seltzer or whatever. Uh, uh, because uh, these capsules are designed to uh, uh, to to dissolve a, in a certain time to actually be mixed uh, with uh, to be effective to be mixed with certain uh, uh, with certain what do you call it? Well, this is my where my English are gonna is going to fail me here. Yeah, you know, with stomach uh, f hormones? It's not hormones. You don't call it hormones. Whatever, uh, what, uh, with your regular uh, stomach fluids that usually uh, uh, that you uh, that usually uh, it, it, which usually it spews, uh during uh, digestion. So uh, it is uh, uh, it's extremely important to, uh, to have effective uh, to you know. To, to make this uh, medicine effective, to actually take it with water. Stay away from uh, hot water, like tea and, or whatever, or, or, co or carbonated ones. Hell, even stay away. Of course, you probably most people know that <laughs> you shouldn't drink uh, uh, most uh, medicine with alcohol. Uh, unless, you know, unless you don't want to live uh, for too long. Uh, second uh, piece of info, or piece of trivia. Uh, most medicines, if not all of them, actually requires you to drink a lot of water with it. At the very least, at the minimum amount is actually around 250 millimeters uh, of water. That's uh, that's uh, that's uh, a full cup, by the way. You know, for those who live in in America, that's a full cup of water. You actually need to drink a full cup for the medicine to be effective. Um, you just you, like it. It's not it's, it's not like you just need to drink water just to make uh, you know the medicine go through uh, uh, you know uh, just uh, uh, you know enough, enough liquid to just uh, for you to swallow the medicine easily. No, you actually need to drink a lot of water. And these uh, these are not common things that people uh, actually do but um, I've worked with uh, some doctors recently I, d I do work with doctors a lot and uh, especially nowadays and probably for the uh, well, you know for the, uh, the upcoming future for many many years to come uh, and uh, you know having to talk to uh, with them like here yeah, you learn a lot and they they definitely agree that yeah you have to drink a lot of water when you take uh, uh, some medicine. In general, you actually have to, to, to drink a lot of water. Alright, have a nice day. Shut up. Let's continue with the game. Nobody cares about your <laughs> medical expertise. Hey, it's not medical expertise. It's trivia, alright? I don't know, but maybe it had something to do with Orla's uh, mysterious condition. Uh, you mean the capsule? Yep. What's inside it? Can we open it? Who would do such a thing to Orla? Yeah. If I get my hands on them, I'll I'll rip them to shred. That's what I'll do. Let's just stick to lawful acts, shall we? Damn chaotic, uh, chaotic evil. <laughs> uh, or uh, uh, she's chaotic good. She's gonna be chaotic good. Is that her alignment? Oh, we have access to a new area of yours. There's a show station. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and go there. Ooh. You call that a stage? Well, I guess. I guess it's a stage. July 21st. Ship Shape Aquarium Show. Stage. Run-on sentence. Nice. <laughs> Read it like it's a run-on sentence. So, this is where they hold the ship... Uh, the uh, ship shape... The Swashbuckler Spectacular, huh? Looks like the police are done with their work here. <laughs> hey, it's you, lawyers! Why is he scared? How could you let Sasha get arrested? Didn't I ask you to, uh, to take care of her? Uh, we're sorry we couldn't prevent her from getting arrested. Actually uh, allowed her to be arrested because of these uh, uh, Because these uh, fish puns are getting out of control 
Well, as her lawyers, we'll do everyth everything we can uh, for her. Sorry I got upset. If there's anything I can do to help Sasha, just say the word. Marlon, you can trust in Mr. Nick. I'm going to do what I can too with this, uh, for uh yeah, let's, uh, forensicking uh, kit. Let's not do that joke again. Have a nice day. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cover this whole area with Forensic King. With Forensic King. Atta girl, small fry. You can have free reign all off this place. I want to check this place out, but I better talk to uh, Mr. Rhymes too. Uh, we can do. Uh, we can do uh, both. I think. Uh, I think it's uh, better for us to actually talk to him. Before we start investigating, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Starting with the capsule. I'm new here, so I don't know. You don't know what? It's weird. He should have actually mentioned something about. He should know if uh, any animal is sick or not, since he would. He's the one that's actually feeding them. I would imagine that the one that uh, is responsible for feeding them would be also responsible to, uh, for uh, for gi giving them food because he's gonna do these routines all together. He's just gonna be instructed by the uh, by the veterinarian. I don't really think being new here has anything to do uh, with it in this instance. Hey, were you talking have a nice day all this time? Just, uh... Uh, you know. So you can actually fill the void while you, uh, pour yourself some tea. Oh, the goddamn, you guys are smart. Oh, you guys are smart, you got me. <laughs> you got me. I was pouring myself some tea. Oh, minted tea. My t m viewers, I'm gonna tell you. I make the best tea... Probably in my general area. <laughs> At the very least, I can guarantee that. I can guarantee that. That's Sasha's calendar. Sorry I didn't tell you sooner. Well, I guess you were worried about Miss Buckler. It's understandable. It's not understandable. You might be in cahoots. I don't know why she was supposed to meet with the captain. But I know she definitely didn't kill him. She'd never do anything like that. We know that, and we're going to prove it in court. If you mess up, I'm gonna write a rap dissing you two. <laughs> God damn, he's gonna do the, uh, the, uh, Tupac? Uh, what was the other, uh, what was the other, uh, rapper that he had feud with? Uh, Notorious B.I.G. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna start the feud. Oh shit! Uh, we are P gonna be uh, P Diddy and uh, and uh, Notorious Big. Holy shit! <laughs> and he's Tupac. God damn. Capcom knows. Capcom knows. And even before it comes out on CD, I'm gonna play it all over the place. On Spotify. CDs, wait a minute, you guys, <laughs> at your time, uh, CDs um, should be uh, like something uh, nobody cares of. Hell, people don't even know what the hell is a CD. What does dissing mean? Whoa. Damn, Phoenix is not from the streets. To diss somebody means to insult them or put them down. It's short for disrespect. I mean, you should have just said it's short for disrespect. Athena. Ouch, that's harsh. Wait, so does that mean that we're gonna kill him in the end? We're gonna kill him in the end? Everybody knows that P. Diddy killed uh, Tupac? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna write a rap this new to you. <laughs> Mr. Rhymes, about this fish. Oh shit, he's gonna rap? I'm the master keeper, no way you can mail. You're a pro lawyer, but an amateur feed that you already feed and throw down. Rafa, come on, the, the time to defend the crown. Defending what kind of crown? What did you just say here? I'm the master keeper, no, you, no way you can beat me. You're a pro lawyer, but an amateur feeder. Doesn't even rhyme. You already, you, you, you already for feed and throw down? Rifle, come on, time to defend the crown. That's terrible, gotta be honest. Uh, doesn't look like uh, a rifle is coming. I guess not, huh? Sorry about all that throw down stuff, then. I just wanted to show you the inner secrets of animal feeding. You know, scream at them uh, out loud uh, with gibberish? There are inner secrets? You know, stuff like how uh, to debone a fish. Great care goes into each animal's food. Debone a fish? Then, of course, there's uh, the way of tossing the food to, to whim. It's different for each one. I see. Sorry to, to have bothered you with the mundane questions from the uninitiated. <laughs> uninitiated. A secret of tossing? How about I toss your salad? <gasps> Have a nice day. Do you know what me what that means? What that even means? Sadly, yes, I know what that means. Yes, have a nice day. The one that barely speaks English know what what uh, tossing your salad means. <laughs> Thanks, Internet. Thanks. It means eating uh, someone's, uh, someone else's ass. <laughs> Why do I have to learn something like that, dude? I was better off without it. With this fly, you can get a chicken sleep mask uh, the next time you, co you come in. Oh, like the one that uh, Mr. Krabs had? Oh yeah? It would be nice, especially if it's free. That'd be perfect for taking a nap at uh, the office after doing uh, a run or something. I prefer you didn't take naps at the office, actually. I preferred her not to even run around like a crazy maniac. Yeah, I feel you. Sometimes I, fe uh, I fall asleep when I'm feeding the animals. Oh, that's why you, s you stink. I guess only a newbie can truly understand the feeling of another newbie. Yeah. We're kindred spirits, my sister. Kindred spirits. Two peas in a pod. Birds of a feather. And I suddenly feel so alone. Uh, but I wouldn't want to... To... Be... Uh, uh... What do you call it? What's the word? Related? Not related. Accompanied? No. Uh... I don't want to be ca I don't want to people catch me with you two, idiots. Oh, you're not gonna say anything about uh, my badge? Damn, he started to, he started uh, the goddamn dissing. Oh, we cannot go uh, actually uh, left or right here. I thought we were gonna actually check the whole area. Maybe we can get inside the ship too. I don't know. Huh? The rock is uh, interesting. I'm gonna check on it later. Helping with cleaning. I hear you helped Sasha with the cleaning, Mr. Rhymes. Well, not really helped. I was just talk uh, taking care of the orca where, uh, here while she cleaned. What? Shouldn't that be your job? Sasha felt bad for making Orla stay up so late, so she asked me to give her a snack. It was a little bit less uh, than her ordinary uh, meal, but she seemed satisfied. Oh yeah, and I put Orla 
on the transport stretcher too. Transport st stretcher? I mean, we already know about that. See the hoist up there on the right? The stretcher can be suspended from it. Yeah, definitely... Like, the game in general definitely seems like it's... Like, most sections here are actually been, have been written by different writers. Like at, like at this uh, point here, like they're, they're introducing us the, to the idea that uh, there's a stretcher that uh, they allow, um, you know, the orca to, you know, the, the way, uh, they use a stretcher to lift uh, up the orca and transport her around. Uh, like it's something that we, uh, this, that is something that we never know about until now, so, which uh, is strange. See that hoist up there uh, on the right? The stretcher can be suspended from it. This stage shows. Uh, this stage show. Uh, this stage show is right next to the orca pool room, and we use the hoist to move the orca or cargo between the two areas. So the so the rail we saw in the orca pool room runs all the way here, huh? Well, I guess th this is what I. This is the assumption, right? Like, yeah, that it's gonna actually go, go, go uh, all the way here, but... For uh, for the game to actually repeat it here, you know, for at least it's gonna... Confirm the assumption. Which I guess, uh, probably, yeah, that's d b definitely... Might actually sound stupid, but uh, at least it's, uh, like... I guess that's, yeah, it's mandatory for the game to actually... For, uh, for the... For... For the very least, it should actually mention that and confirm that. Why? Did you want to take a ride? Aerial investigation, huh? Sounds good to me. Uh, no, no, that's okay. I like my investigation on sweet uh, terra firma. <laughs> actually, the host can only be operated from the orca pool room. Huh. Very interesting. Oh, that's right. I remember seeing the hoist control panel in there. So I'm sorry, but I can't give you a ride without somebody on the other on the other end. Hmm. The kind kind of incriminates Sasha even more because she's the one that have the. Uh... I mean, we still have to uh, to prove that. Uh, that someone else used the card other than her. I think we'll probably need to, you know, to pull some fingerprints at the very least. So I'm sorry, but I can't give you a ride without somebody on the other end. No need to be sorry. Phew. Dodge that bullet. Yeah. Cannot say the same for Tupac. Couldn't dodge that bullet. <laughs> Look, man, he died like ages ago. He died probably even before you guys were even born. All right. If it wasn't Miss Bucker or Orla, who else could have killed Mr. Shipley? And why did I? Why did you give uh, Rhymes accent to uh, to Athena? Have a nice day. Well, I don't know. But, uh, Rhymes know that Sasha is innocent, but I'm not so sure about the Orca. What? But we proved her innocence in court this morning. But a few days ago, that Orca attacked Sasha right here in the show pool. As... Like, as a... Uh, as a, as a trick, or actually attacked her, attacked her. I saw that orca uh, take Sasha's body into her mouth and squeeze her chest. Her chest? They were probably practicing the lifesaver trick. But Sasha was being crushed so bad, she couldn't even, uh, blow the whistle. I wanted to help her right away, but... I hate to admit it. But I froze. 
Uh, I'm a weak man. I can't protect anyone. I doubt there are many people who would put, uh, who would uh, pit themselves against an orca. Yeah, of course. If I see someone in that uh, situation, um, I, I gotta be honest with you viewers. They only have themselves to blame. When they uh, try, you know, to play stupid games with an orca, that usually is uh, a carnivorous and can attack people, yeah. You win stupid prizes. So, um, I I'm, I'm the kind of person that uh, don't feel bad for people that try and... Uh, that, you know, that uh, tests their situations. So, uh, whether it be uh, with circus people, or like I hear, I hear people like uh, at the circus, like uh, uh, with tigers and whatnot. And um, I think there was uh, an old incident where a tiger uh, bit, someone's, uh, bit someone's head uh, during... Uh, during a show, yeah, I'm, I don't feel I don't feel sad for these people. I'm I'm sorry. I gotta be honest with you, viewers. Everybody try everybody tried to talk her out of it, but she wouldn't give up on practicing. When we said Orla could kill her, she said she trusted Orla. She's an idiot. Yeah, while everybody else seems to think Orla is a killer. How can you trust a creature that can't speak? You can't even know what it's, in, what it's thinking. But with orcas and dolphins, you can have communication uh, of the heart. Well, speaking of the heart, there was a, a researcher that actually had sex with a dolphin. It was uh, sometimes in the 50s, I think. I forgot the I forgot uh, their name. We're trying to study dolphins and whatnot, just trying to see if how they can communicate. And uh, <laughs> she ended up having <laughs> she ended up having sex with a goddamn dolphin. And uh, she wrote a book about it too. Wow, crazy world, huh? Yeah, viewers, we live in a fucking crazy, crazy world. Alrighty, viewers. Let's go ahead and uh, squeeze uh, a session here before uh, you know. You guys don't need to, <laughs> to know uh, my sleeping schedule. Uh, let's just say it's gonna be uh, 30 minutes from now. <laughs> All right, uh, let's gonna examine the area over here. Mr. Crabs, what the hell? That's definitely not a crab. Starfish. Yeah, that, this uh, rock here seems a little bit uh, suspicious. Uh, anywho, let's just... Uh, <laughs> let's uh, start uh, going from right to left. This colorful sign. Did Miss Buckler uh, make it? Why did you assume that she made it? Wow, how did you know? Yeah, that's, uh, that sign is for the new show. Have a nice day, forgot to give me the voice at first, but he managed. He managed to squeeze in the, uh, the accent. Before she went to clean, she painted it and left it to dry. So that this one is recent. She told me to keep an eye on it while I was taking care of the orca. Captain Orla's Swashbuckler Spectacular. There's a sword. Huh. Isn't that Skull Rock there on the right? Mr. Rhymes, is the Skull Rock a part of the set uh, for the new show? Yeah, I guess so. If they were going to use it in the show, what's it doing uh, in the Orca Pool? I thought that's where, uh, where it was supposed to be. Huh. Why? I mean, I... I thought that this is where, where it was supposed to be in the very beginning. Skull Rock updated in the court record. The new show prop that was uh, at the Orca Pool. The victim struck it when he fell. So it's a new one. Well, at the very least, huh? 
seems a little bit cracked. I wonder if that's uh, by design, by choice, I mean. This sign is so eye-catching, with all those uh, twinkling stars. Well, I would say the color is very pink. I think they're supposed to be starfish. It's for the pirate show, after all. Hmm, a few of them look more like leaves to me. Is that gonna be... Oh, ma oh these are, uh... Rifle's, uh, footprints? These are Rifle's, uh, footprints? It's goddamn chicken again. Homemade sign added to the court record. A sign, uh, Sasha made for the new show. It's been left to dry since the early hours of the 20th. Hmm. It's gonna be important... Turns out this one's gonna be an important clue. Sasha put so effort into making this sign for the new show. No wonder she was mad about what happened. Huh? I wonder what, uh, what, uh, what he's talking about. I'd better ask. Is he gonna mention uh, about rifle? Uh, we're gonna. I'm. I'm gonna leave that question for later once I finish investigation. So. <laughs> We saw the same device in the orca pool room, too, huh? Yeah, we used it to, we used it to lift the uh just call it the orca. We used it to lift Orla when she was uh, on the stretcher. In the show, Sasha makes her grand entrance by hanging from this thing. Damn, sounds uh, dangerous. Oh, we should think of a cool grand entrance for us too. You're an idiot. I've always wanted to burst into the middle of somebody else's trial with a loud bang. You too, Phoenix? I've always wanted to crash uh, in through the ceiling. I crash and die? I bet that would uh, really knock the socks off the judge and the gallery. Just what exactly was this girl learning while she was in Europe? She wasn't a... Uh... She wasn't in Europe. She was in Mexico. She was a lucha, a lucha, a lucha libre uh, wrestler. She was uh, tra uh, she, she trained with uh, Jack Black. Yep. Hmm. Let me check the ship first. Well, the galleon. This galleon was uh, in the uh, Swashbuckler Spectacular too, wasn't it? Look at that cute uh, figurehead. Uh, figurehead. It looks just like Orla. It's cute, but it looks like uh, it's also a cannon. Why would you have a cannon in the very front of the ship, though? That doesn't make any sense. Because uh, the idea of cannons in a ship is uh, the barrage of uh, cannons that fire at once. Because uh, every fire... Uh, like, uh, cannons fire individually isn't that effective against a ship. Because, uh, a single ball is gonna use uh, a single force of a cannon. But, uh, hitting uh, cannons multiple at once will definitely... Uh, w w sometimes would make the ship, uh... Uh, sink from the, from the power of the... From the uh, from the force of uh, the cannon combined, it's not. Sometimes it's just, uh, like the the ship is gonna withstand the cannon fire, but not the force. So it's uh, so the cannon fire can actually flip over a ship. Yep. Have a nice day with the with the trivia. The enemy lets their guard down and then blam. Very piratey, don't you think? I thought Orla and Sasha were supposed to be in, uh, to be the good guys. I mean, for defensive measures. We should do uh, uh, the same thing in court. Lure him uh, in and then blam. Present, uh, presented, uh, present evidence through a cannon. Well, hmm. Well, Phoenix Art was a, was a fighting game character in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. He had some sort of a, uh, a mechanic. Where he have to collect evidence for him to actually be good. 
Otherwise, he without it, actually, he would be bad. But he like he like uh, I think they call uh, call uh, his type of character like a a level up character or a step up character. Uh, who's a very famous character that actually has that in fighting games? Mm. Well, I can say since uh, you know the, the the game is gonna uh, is recent and de definitely it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be out once <laughs> this playthrough is uh, uploaded. Uh, it's similar to Jamie from Street Fighter VI, where he have to drink. Uh, multiple times every time he drinks uh, not only he's gonna access to new uh, better moves his uh, uh, his attack power is gonna increase a little bit so something similar to that I don't think the judge would appreciate any blaming in his court well how do you know that Look at those pool. Uh, uh, look at this pool. Well, have a nice day. He's a uh, sleepy viewer, so that sometimes he cannot <laughs> he cannot see while he is sleepy. It's huge. So this is where they do the swashbuckler spectacular. This show this show pool is the same depth uh, of the orca pool. Really? That's a lot of water. Holy! They practice the the tricks in the orca pool and then do the real show here. Are you interested in the swashbuckler spectacular? Not me. Uh, this this idiot is though. Oh, of course, I've only seen it on TV though. Well, I'm new here, so I've never even seen it once. What? How come? How come? How come? I think this is gonna be an important statement here. Athena is a big fan. She watched the recording over and over. I love the show on the ocean. Standing here makes me feel like I'm at the beach. Uh, okay. Without the sand, you feel like you're on the beach, even though there are no there are no sand. There is no sand, especially uh, with it open to the sky. You can even hear the sound of the surf nearby. Why don't you take a dip in the pool? Why would you ask her that? What? Really? I can? In that case... What? What are you talking about? You can't swim here! We were just joking, and definitely not Athena. Right, uh, of course, I was just joking too. Don't tell me she was actually going to do it. Well... Probably the, Mag the Magatama. <laughs> I would definitely assume that Magatama flashed her a little bit. We've examined pretty much everything here, but... But what? We didn't examine everything here. Maybe the important stuff? The fa maybe the fact that the pool... Uh, we inspected the pool definitely uh, triggered uh, an important dialogue. So, are you telling me that this poor ass pirate is not gonna... Is not gonna... Give me any uh, good information? Give me a laugh then. Ah! Eek! There's a skeleton adrift. <laughs> it's just a prop. Were you really scared? You were the one that looked re really scared. A little bit. By your screaming. Is this skeleton an enemy defeated by Orla's pirates? No, he's an informant named the uh, the Skeleton Kid. He's a kid. A dashing spirited character, neither friend nor foe. So you're saying he's alive in the show? This guy, this thing is alive? Yeah, that's how. Uh, that's how. how this is what the skeletons sound like, viewers. Trust me, I know. I know. 